221, national champion, two-year starter, three years in college. What has this guy not done? 67% completion rate, 10,168 yards, 90 touchdowns, 32 interceptions. Similar numbers to what we talked about with Mahomes, but just obviously at a much different level and much different conference. I wonder, you know, is this guy in that Mariota Winston tier, which may now include Prescott and Wentz Wentz as well? And are we going to look back and wonder why we scrutinize this guy so much? Because he's really good and we're just, you know, not enough of us are giving him credit for that yet. Well, Andy, I mean, you've been around this as longer than I have, so you know how the draft cycle of a quarterback works. I mean, you know, I, I actually went back through my Twitter feed, and I, I was in October of 2015. I literally tweeted Car- Deshaun Watson no matter what, sort of that spin off that draft day movie. But we start hyping these guys a year or two ahead of time. Right. And so I think most people sort of looked at Deshaun Watson, you know, last summer and said, look, this guy's QB one. He's going to be the guy we're going to watch all season. Let's see if he lives up to the hype. And he had a bit of a slow start. I mean, he had the, you know, a game against Auburn start the season threw an interception or two in that game through 17 interceptions this year. People started to back away from him looking at the turnovers. Maybe, I don't know if they were nitpicking him or what, but there were definitely some things that they could point to and say, look, maybe he's not the guy we were hoping he would be. Maybe he's not going to be that guy. And then people start to look at a Kaiser or a Trubitsky and certainly Mahomes and say, well, maybe this is the better guy in the class. But as this is all happening, let's talk about what you know a guy like Deshaun Watson has done. Back-to-back national championship appearances. And in both games goes up against probably the toughest college defense you're going to find in Alabama. Basically, win beats them both times, and you know they had a you know close loss last year, and in this past season, obviously they win in the final minutes. One of the things I always point to with Watson is these are numbers I keep coming back to: 205 attempts, 138 completions for a 67 percentage completion rate, over 1,615 yards, 16 touchdowns, two interceptions. Andy, those are his fourth quarter numbers in his career. I mean, that's mm-hmm. money time. That's when you, if you know the team's going to look to you. Your coach is going to put the ball in your hands and say, go win us a game, son. And those are the numbers that he's putting up. You know, I look at all the stuff that he's done for Clemson, you know, obviously a national championship, those fourth quarter numbers and the traits that he brings to the table. And I said, look, that's the guy that if I'm a coach, if I'm a GM, give me that guy. I can go win with that guy. And that's kind of, that's why Watson's my number one QB. Right. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. Yeah. And, you know, he closely resembles, not necessarily, you know, skill for skill, but he closely resembles the career of Jameis Winston for me. Same conference, same kind of repertoire, back-to-back national championship appearances, uh, Heisman, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, we got fatigue. We got we call it prospect fatigue in baseball. We got fatigue with Winston. People have been fatigued with Watson. It's just been taking so long because he's been so good at such an early age. He scrambles a lot more than people talk about and give him credit for, something he does quite well. And the thing that impressed me most about him, especially speaks to his character and his toughness, was he was getting leveled in the national championship game, and yet he kept getting back up. He kept pushing his team down the field. He kept scrambling, even though you know he's doing helicopters and 720s and whatnot. Uh, he wasn't phased by it. it. It didn't affect him. And that speaks to the kind of character I want to see on the center – if I'm running an organization. Yeah, and so. I think that's a great point. And, you know, you look at how he handles, you know, that Alabama game, this past national championship game, got off to a slow start there too, but didn't let him get him down. And, you know, when you're a rookie quarterback in the NFL, you might, if you're getting drafted early in the first round, you're probably walking into a situation where the cupboard's a little bit bare. There's not enough around you. The team's probably had a couple of losing seasons. And you're going to make mistakes. You're going to get knocked around. But as we, as you pointed out, as we've seen, Watson's a guy that's going to take that punch in the mouth and keep getting right back up. And when you've got that as a rookie quarterback, you're going to be able to fight through those mistakes and get better every week, get better every practice, week in and week out. And, you know, it all adds up to a guy that I think, you know, maybe there are questions recently about his, you know, arm strength. We heard that 49 mile per hour number at the combine. I, looking at his tapes, looking at all 17 interceptions he threw, there wasn't a situation where I really pointed to a throw and said definitively, you know, a lack of arm strength was the reason this was a pick. There are other reasons. You know, throw that number out the window, I think. Put it, Or try to at least put some context to it. Go back to the tape 
I still think that this guy has the arm that he can succeed in the NFL. So don't worry about that too much. This guy's a fighter. He's going to take the punches in the mouth, but he's going to fight through that adversity and win. That's what right. he's done on every level, and that's what I expect him to do in the NFL. And some of those defenses he sees as a rookie – in the NFL, might not be as good as the Alabama defense we just saw last year. That That's a very good point, Andy. That's a very good point. 